Okay, in this video, we are asked to find if the inverse exists. So we're going to first figure out what the heck an inverse is. Then we'll talk about these examples here. So an inverse uh, for a 2 by 2 case is this matrix. Uh, here's the matrix A, A, B, C, D. Okay, so to find the inverse, what you do is you first have to find the determinant. All right. If the determinant is zero, you stop and you say it doesn't have an inverse. No inverse exists. All right, but if it does have a determinant that's not zero, that's perfect. So what you do is you take A and D and you swap them. So D goes here, A goes there. And B and C, you take the opposite sign of. Okay, once you do that, you take one over the determinant. So whatever the determinant is, the reciprocal, and you multiply it by these numbers here inside the matrix and then you have your inverse. So let's go ahead and do a couple examples. Reference back up here if you need to. All right. Um, but uh, it, it's really an easy process for the two by two case. If you go beyond two by two, it's a little bit more, but uh, at least we'll do at minimum the two by two case, the three by three and beyond. Uh, my suggestion is, for the sake of time, use your calculator. But it's very, very possible to find the inverse of a 3 by 3. So let's take a look at this one. All right. So first, we're going to find the determinant of the matrix A. And what does that look like? Well, it's 0 times negative 5 minus 0 times negative 3. And this ends up giving us 0 minus 0, which is just 0. So this is 0. So we say then that uh, there is no inverse. There is no inverse. There is no inverse. Uh, in other words, it does not exist. It does not exist. So there is no inverse. It does not exist. And the reason is because the determinant of matrix A is zero. Okay, and that was the requirement by the definition up here of an inverse. Now let's take a look at this one. This one is invertible and you'll see just right now why. We'll find the determinant of this matrix A. And let's see here, we have three times six minus suppose five times one. We get uh, 18 minus 5, and this gives us 13. So the determinant is clearly not 0. All right, it's clearly not 0. Now what we're going to do is follow this uh, rule here, and let's just use this one, this and this is the same, okay? So we're going to say 1 out of 13 on the outside, and then on the inside of the matrix, first we're going to swap these two. All right, so we swap 6 and 3. There we go, swapped. And now we take the opposite of the 1 and the 5, making this negative 1 and negative 5. Okay, and just one more step, really, and that is to multiply this number, the scalar multiple, inside the matrix. So we get something that looks like this. 6 out of 13, negative 1 out of 13, negative 5 out of 13, and 3 out of 13. So this is the matrix, the inverse, and this is our answer. It said find the inverse of it if it exists, and we did. So just one small note here that if you need to reduce any of these fractions inside, go ahead and do that. Reduce it to its lowest terms, All right, especially if you're keying this in on a computer some kind of computer system. But uh, find the, finding the inverse is, is really very easy for a two by two case. Uh, so just reduce these fractions and you're done. But it's as easy as finding the determinant, swapping these two on this diagonal, taking the opposite sign of these two on the diagonal, and multiplying the scalar multiple, which is one over the determinant inside the matrix, and you are done. So uh, this is uh, just a few problems on how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 case.